Hi, it's Kathy Waite with Weight Endurance. This is a helpful hints video for week four, session two of our four week strength maintenance plan for cyclists during race season. This session, in fact, is written as if you are going to race tomorrow or the next day, and you just wanna spend about 20 minutes doing some movement. Basically, you just have some uh, movement prep, which is like dynamic warmups, a small core set, and oh, finishing with some extra mobility. Uh, we picked one called hip opener series, but you could certainly substitute something else that works for you. Maybe your favorite yoga video online. The idea here is just to prepare you to race tomorrow, but not exhaust you. If you are not racing tomorrow, just go back to a previous week and do one of those sessions so you, so you can get a full workout in. I'm gonna go over the movements so you know how to do them and possibly reduce or increase the difficulty. There are three movements in the core set. I was trying to just kind of hit all the different parts of your body, your anterior, your sides, and your posterior, and your hips. First movement, a front plank with a cross knee crunch. I'm a big fan of planks of any variety, and this one is a, a real dynamic one that gets a bunch of different muscles in your body. I prefer to do this one on my hands, so get in a great front plank position. That means you're pressing your shoulders up into the ceiling, arms are straight, your, your hands are right under your armpits so that you don't strain your shoulders. Your feet, as you can see, can be closer like hip width or for more stability, you can go wider. That's a personal choice. Squeeze your glutes so that you don't arch your back or sag your back. All right, I'm gonna tap right knee to left elbow and back up. Left knee to right elbow and back up. And go back and forth, 20 reps or maybe more if I'm feeling good today. A simple movement, but very effective for recruiting many muscle groups in your body. All right, next you have a Superman. That's mainly geared towards getting your low back, a little bit of your shoulders, and a little bit of glutes. I actually can't do a regular Superman, which is where you fully extend arms and legs at the same time, because I have a fused lower back and my body just doesn't want to move in that position. So I do the alternate movement, the alternate Superman, which is like right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, left arm, right leg, easy for me to say. So I'll show you that version and you can then figure out which one works best for you. So I'm gonna lift my right arm and left leg and pause, then left arm, right leg and pause. You can really feel that in your glutes and low back. You get a little shoulder work too. It's such a great movement. And last but not least, a little bit of hip activation with a movement called banded cowboy walk and a drop step. Um, you do need a band of some sort. I have a heavy duty band that I got on powersystems.com. You can find them on Amazon or other sports retailers. The band can be around your ankles or above your knees. That's personal choice. It's usually a little bit more difficult down by your ankles. Okay, cowboy walk. You step uh, forward and sort of wide like you're a cowboy that just got off its horse. His horse, her horse. It's not a fast movement. If I rush this, it doesn't do anything. So slow step, pause. Slow step, pause. Got that? Slow. You're a slow cowboy or cowgirl. And to reverse it, I'm gonna do what they call drop step. So I'll pull my, my knee in and then back out again. So here's how it looks. Kick out, knee in, kick out, and pause. Again, it's slow. Knee in, kick out, knee in, kick out. If you go quickly, it does nothing. So there's a lot of cool hip movements you can do with the bands. You may have heard of like monster walk. That's a pretty common one. And that's it for race week. Do three sets of those three core movements. Do some extra foam rolling. Follow our hip opener video for a really great series to open up your hips. And mostly rest and get ready for race week. Have fun.